Good morning, everybody. This is a Dell 15, what is it again? Dell Inspiron, or Inspiron 15 5000 laptop. This is the i7 model, as you can see right here. It's a 10th generation, so it's a couple of years old, but it's in immaculate condition. So the reason I have this back is what you're seeing down the corner, I'm sure everybody, all you eagle-eyed people out there have spotted this already. So it's not charging, the battery's just about to go dead, yet the charger is plugged in. However, what I found with this is, and I don't know how you show you this on camera, but if I get this and I pull it back this direction, you will notice, ah, it's magic, see? So I let it go, and it's off again. So if I hold it towards this end, like I'm doing now, it comes back on. So this happens quite a lot with laptops. The DC jack seems to be damaged in it. And uh, we're gonna take a look at that because this happens quite a lot on these. It's a particularly bad design with these because you've got an, an inner and outer pin and then you've got a center ID pin and that can get broken from time to time. But we're going to take a look at that and uh, see if we can fix the jack. I've removed the DC power jack and cable from the laptop and this is what it looks like. So we've got our little DC jack right here. And then there's a short cable and then this connector. This is looks like an 8-pin connector and it connects to the motherboard. And this is the model number of it right up here in the top corner. So in our DC power jack, we've got three separate sets of contacts, all right? So we've got one set of contacts that are, are voltage positive, we have a second set of contacts for ground, and we have a third set of contacts for our ID pin, okay? So I'm just gonna give a quick description how that works on these. So this is our charger, and what you'll see is that there are three contacts on that. So we've the outer part of the barrel, we have the inner part of the barrel, and then we have a separate pin in the middle, which is called the ID pin. So what's meant to happen here is our DC jack has these six connectors right here, which connect to the outer part of the barrel. That is usually our ground. We have an inner set of pins right here. Because this jack is damaged, I, we can't see the pins here and here, but you can see the two right here. So we've got those second set of pins right there. They are meant to connect to the inside of the barrel. And that's the positive. And then the third one is our ID pin, which is a connector in there that this connects to. So that's the three different sets of contacts. So what I want to do first here is to make sure that our contacts here are connecting with our pins right here. So I introduced my trusty multimeter, this time in continuity mode, which usually has a symbol that looks something like this. And in continuity mode, we're going to check and make sure that those contacts are connecting through that wire and onto this connector that goes onto the motherboard. Sometimes through bending or whatever, this can get damaged or this gets damaged. So let's introduce our red probe as well. So to start off with, I'm placing my probe right here and then checking for continuity across all of these pins here. And what I find is that when I go to these three pins right here, we have continuity and that would make sense because there's a black wire coming here so these are our ground pins right here next I'm able to get my probe and connect to this pin right here or any of these pins and once again for continuity I'm checking down these pins right here and I find that these three pins right here are connected so that would make sense because they are our three red wires here, which is our three positive voltage connections. And then lastly, and I needed to get a bit of jumper wire and put it in here to do it, but I connect it to the inside of this right here. And once again, go down from top to bottom, and I found continuity with this pin right here. So that's pin, uh, that's the eighth pin down on this. It may be in reverse order on the motherboard, but I'm marking them 1 to 8 on this. So after checking those, I'm going to mark those. So we've pins 1 to 8, and just to go top to bottom, we've got the three top pins are, are positive voltage. Pin 4 does not seem to be connected. Our next three pins are ground, and our next pin is our ID pin. 
So I'm sure a few of you are saying right now, well, look, if you've done a continuity check and the jack is checking out good, how are you concluding that's an issue with the power jack? But just bear in mind that where I'm checking these pins from are the outer positions here, okay? And remember what's happening with this. What's happening with this is I plug in my charger and it doesn't work when it's loose. However, when I push it to one side, it then does work. So what's happening here is that because of wear or damage to the inner parts of the contact, the jack is, uh, the barrel is just not making a proper connection and we're having to force it into a position where it is making that connection. So just to reiterate, it's damage to the inside of this that's causing the fault. You can see it there yourself anyway, the pins look damaged. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to order a new one of these jacks. Um, I actually had a spare one from another laptop that I could put in and verify that when I replaced the power jack and connector that that is the resolution to the problem. So I'm just going to order another one. I've seen other people online where they you know, take out the jack and get maybe like a paper clip and pull these connections out and similar to the inner ones. But I don't want this coming back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the proper one uh, straight out of the factory so it's brand new. And I'm going to replace it with that because it's better than, you know, the possibility of me trying to repair it myself. And then I end up with it coming back with the same fault in a couple of months. I've zoomed in on the jack here just to hopefully give you a better look at how it works. Um, it took me ages to get a picture that I could actually see the inside of it because the lighting is just, it's very difficult to work out. Um, you know, to try and provide lighting so you can see the contact on the inside. But these are the outer pins here. Once again, these are the ground, and you can see this part here inside the jack. That's the part that makes connection with the outer part of the barrel. These pins here are the damaged ones. I think there's meant to be another one here and maybe another one here. Somebody can correct me on that if you... Well, I'll actually see it myself when I get the new jack. But that's meant to make contact with the inner part of the barrel. And then the ID pin, which is in the center of the charger, slips in here and makes contact with the pin in there. And that's how it works. Just one note to finish with on this. This is a picture of another power jack that we got in from a similar type of Dell. So you can see one, two, three pins here. One, two, three, there are ground pins. You can see our positive pins right here. But this is an absolute mess. I don't know how this happens. If somebody plugs it in crooked and you know the ID pin hits off here, does it dig away at it and make it look like this? Is that how it happens? But the main thing to be uh, concerned about on this is if you see the jack looks like this, you want to look at the charger because the charger more than likely has a bent ID pin as well. So if you come across a jack that looks like this, be certain to check the ID pin of the charger because it obviously can't go into the center there, not with the jack looking like that. So that is the video for today. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments about this or you've seen similar on your own, please post underneath. And I'll be back with another one pretty soon.